What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, bringing you guys another banger of a team showcasing Swampert in Regulation F. Now Swampert is a fan favorite. It brings back so many memories considering Gen 3, I believe was brought out in 2005. Don't quote me on that, but it's definitely a trip down memory lane whenever I use Swampert. I love Mudkick growing up. I love Marsh Tom. I still love Swampert. I feel like all the Gen 3 starters are absolutely amazing. But Swampert's here today, trying to get work done on the competitive ladder. It's got bulk up as one of its moves, so you can set up that attack and defense boost. From there, you can deal some big time damage with Liquidation and EQ, two big time stab moves. The ability for Swampert is going to be Torrent, and it's holding a clear amulet as an item, alongside with the Steel Terror type. Another Pokemon on today's team that is going to work wonders is going to be Galarian Zapdos. Now, Galarian Zapdos is good for two reasons. One, you can pair it up with Swampert, you can go into Earthquake freely without hitting your allied Pokemon. And another reason Zapdos is good, because it pairs up with Ndidi perfectly. It's holding the Psychic Seeds, so if we pair it up with Ndidi, we can pop the Terrain, pop the Psychic Seeds, and then on top of that, Zapdos has Acrobatics, which is double damage when it's not holding an item. And on top of that, it gets stabbed. Come on, man, that's going to do some crazy damage. Just like Swampert, Zapdos has Bulk Up with Detect and Thunder's Kick. Our next three Pokemon include Hydrapple, Rhyperior, and Duskops, three Pokemon that absolutely thrive out in the Trick Room. Duskops is a top tier Trick Room setter, so once we get that set up, Hydrapple and Rhyperior can really flourish in that Trick Room, doing some big time damage. Hydrapple's got the Life Orb with a great moveset, and Rhyperior has the weakness policy. Both Pokemon, like I said, hit hard in the Trick Room. In our final slot, we got Ndidi. Now, Ndidi's one of those Pokemon that can pair up with anybody. Great support Pokemon with Psychic Surge and a Rocky Helmet, with Psychic, Follow Me, Trick Room, and Heal Pulls. Guys, you want to rent the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you like it up and subscribe to the channel so you do not miss out on any of my Regulation F content. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match. Look to grab some wins with this Swampert team. Want to give a huge shout out to the team creator for today's video. Goes by the name of Chip. Chip, huge shout out to you. Thank you so much for making this team. And thank you so much for being a longtime viewer. We'll be linking this page down in the description below. Alongside with the Poke Pace. So if you guys want to check it out, all the, all the stuff's in the description below. But we're hopping into our first match. And we're going up against a contrary superior team. Alongside with Electivire, Whimsicott, and then they got Walking Wick and Gouging Fire. So from here, I could go Zapdos and I could go Ndidi. And that's kind of something I really like because I could pop the Terrain. I could pop the Psychic Seeds. And if they go into Intimidate Incineroar, we could also pop Defiant and stop Fake Out, right? That's something I really like. I'm going to go Swampert and I'm going to go Rhyperior in the back end. Yeah, I like Rhyperior here. So I'm going to go Rhyperior. I'm going to go Swampert. We're going to look to pop Trick Room and just get rolling here in match number one. Now this Zapdos squad, or this Zapdos I should say, is lower on speed. It's only at, I think, around 100. So this team is pretty much a Trick Room team. So we want to try to set it as much as possible and just get Swampert rolling in. So we'll see who they want to lead, though. They have a lot of different options. I'm really hoping they go in Sinor. I would love for them to pop Defiant, turn 1. That could be really, really big. And they end up going into Sinor. That's massive. That is massive. So the thing here is, the bird is not protected by Psychic Terrain. Because it is a flying type. So it could still get hit by fake out. So the question is, do I terrestrialize the bird? I could terrestrialize the bird. I don't really see Superior really KOing me. So I'm thinking I don't think I don't think they're gonna go into fake out. If they do, they do, right? If they wanna attack my bird, that's fine. I think we just go. We might just wanna detect here. And then pop trick him, right? That's a, that's a pretty solid option. I could terrestrialize you just to stop any like big time move from coming in here. And I'm thinking I'm, I think I should be fine. I think they're gonna attack the Zapdos being plus one on attack, right? So I don't think we waste our terror. Hopefully I change it back. I'm not sure if we use terror or not on the Indeedy to be honest. Hopefully not, because I, I just don't see them attacking. I just don't see them really attacking Indeedy. So we attack turn one, we stop any fake outs from coming in here, and they go for a taunt. You have taunt? You have taunt? That's rough. That's super rough. Flare Blitz is going to fly into the slot. That's so rough that you got taunt. We don't like that one bit. So taunt comes out here. We can't use Trick Room, and I think I just have to swap in DD. So I'm going to go Acrobatics. I'm going to swap in DD just into you, right? Mmm. Grass type is looking scary. I don't, I don't think you go for any of this. Actually, we could just start throwing Psychics. 
That's rough. Yo, taunt just screwed me, man. Um, you know, we're just gonna switch this. We're gonna go Thunder's Kick in this slot, and then I'm just gonna go into a nice little psychic, just doing some damage in the superior. Did I end up withdrawing the Tiger? El Tigre, its name was. <laughs> and they're gonna go into Yoshi. Who's Yoshi? This is Yoshi. You're, you're gonna you're gonna get Thunder's Kick. So he's gonna pop the nice little Protosynthesis with its booster energy. Boost its speed up. And Leaf Storm's gonna fly here, which we should so. Yeah, no problem. They're gonna go plus two on that attack stat, or special attack, I should say. And Thunder's Kick is going to land. Beam plus one. Should be able to chunk up some nice damage. And it does. It gets a crit, and we just jump on this thing. So bad swap for him. Real bad swap. Real bad swap. Psychic now flies. Should be able to chunk up a little bit of damage on this thing. In the terrain, stab. Let's see what you got, Ndidi. Oh, you got it. You got it. You're cooking. You're cooking, Ndidi. The Trick Room's still not here. We gotta see how many turns are left in our taunt. That's the real question. Electivire comes out and about. Um, How many turns are left in this taunt? We got one turn left in the taunt, and honestly, from here, we're just going to terrestrialize you. Trying to make sure you get off a shot here, and we're just going to attack Superior. And he's going into another Leaf Storm. That's the problem. We might have to sacrifice a Pokemon. No, you know what? We're not going to sacrifice a Pokemon. We're just going to attack. We're just going to attack. Because if, if I swap just to try to force to get off Trick Room, that could be a little bit of a problem. But he's probably going to deal some big-time damage with Leaf Storm in the DD. I think that's the play. And I think Electivire is going to try to go for maybe like a Wild Charge. So honestly, Electric Terrain. Well, not Electric Terrain. Electric Terror type. Looking great for him. I would rather have Steel, but... I mean, first match is working out pretty well. The Leaf Storm is going to fly. This is why I didn't want to swap into Swamp or anybody else. They would have died, no problem. Now this thing is boosted. Reflect comes out. Okay, Reflect out and about. And Acrobat's going to finish off the... So acrobatics with the big time finish. Um, should I go for trick room or should I just follow me shots? I think I might try to pop a trick room. The flex here. Psychic should still chunk up some damage. No light room. And look at that, yo. Indeed, he's hitting hard. So my taunt's going. I would love to pop trick room. I would, I would love to pop trick room, but we might not be able to. I go back into the tiger. Um. Huh. I'm just gonna protect. I'm just gonna protect. A great Pokemon to come out here would be Swampert. I could hard swap into Swampert. But I'm just gonna detect and try to look to get off some damage here, right? That's exactly what I'm gonna do. Hopefully they don't cancel battle. I wanna get Swampert out here in match number one. I definitely wanna get out Swampert here. So I'm gonna detect the, the Zapdos here. I wanna see what's going on here. And they just set up a late screen, which is pretty smart. And what are you going for, Incineroar? I can I actually outspeed you with Sinmore. Actually I'll speed you. Knockoff's gonna come across and KO me. Okay. That's fine. That's totally fine because now I get to bring out Swampert. Um now I really want to go into EQ. But my bird is <laughs> is weak to that. My bird's weak to that now, but I still might do it, right? Super effective shots. They do have reflect out and about, so that might not be the call. I could maybe hard swap in the Rhyperior. But I'm definitely going into Swampert here. I Man, I could just pop liquidations. Did they terrestrialize already? They did not, so they still have terror type, which is rather annoying. I think we just go Thunder's Kick here. And we just go EQ, right? I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that because at this point, my Zapdos outspeeds. My Zapdos outspeeds. So they're gonna terrestrialize it in cinema, no problem. And Zapdos is just gonna kick it with a plus two Thunder's Kick. Probably KO it, and then EQ can just clean up everything else. I end up going into straight dark type. Yeah, no, we should be fine. That thing's dead now. You're gone. Straight dark type. Not too good up against this Thunder's Kick. So Brick Break's gonna fly through here. Chunk up some damage. Incineroar is dead now. And now Swampert's just gonna pick up a double KO. One onto my bird, and the other onto the Selectivire. So GG's to our opponent. Zapdos really carrying us in match number one. We got that Swampert at the end. Definitely want to use him a little bit more, but hey, we'll take this win all day. EQ flying with the Swamps. And I kind of forgot he had uh, the clear amulet. I could have led that Pokemon. No, pretty much knowing they were going to bring in Incineroar. But there it is. 1-0. Oh. Let's go hop through a second match. Use Swampert a bit more.
Okay, guys, I'm going to try to use Swampert a bit more here in match number two, and we're going up against a really cool team. A actually really dope team. I love all these Pokemon. Suicune, Incineroar, they also have Feraligator on top of Electabuzz, probably Evo Lido Electabuzz, and then Executor and Scissor. So really dope team with a bunch of cool Pokemon. Super excited to be versing these guys, but I definitely want to try to pop Trick Room, considering this team flourishes on Trick Room. So Pokemon that I could lead could be Swampert. I kind of like Swampert with the clear amulet, especially if they do want to lead Incineroar. And I'm also going to lead it with Dusclops. I think that's just a solid lead for us. Plus, I really like Swampert up against a lot of these Pokemon. So I'm going to go Swampert. I'm going to go Dusclops. I'm going to be bringing in Rhyperior. And I'm going to be bringing in Hydrapple just for the full Trick Room squad here in the back end. So I'm ready to rip up. So what I kind of want to do here is just pop Trick Room and maybe pop a bulk up at the same time. Get Swampert stats, boost it, plus one on defense, plus one on attack. And then pretty much just be going from there. Right? That could be really, really good. But if they do go into Incineroar, we will clear Amulet, but we will not be able to dodge Fake Out. And they end up going into Incineroar and Executor. Now, Executor is a little bit of an issue. We don't like Executor. We do not. I do have the Steel Terra. But I think we just attacked here, right? They could put my Dust Cops to sleep. They could put my Dust Cops to sleep, which is kind of annoying. I do reveal the Citrus Berry and the Safety Goggles. Um... Probably gonna fake out Swampert. We should just protect Swampert and just go for the Trick Room, right? Yeah, I'm cool with that. I'm terrified of this thing putting me to sleep, though. So I'm gonna protect the Swampert here. We'll see how this one plays out. And he's gonna end up going for the fake out into that slide. So pretty solid. As long as Executor doesn't put us to sleep, we should be fine. Fingers crossed, though. Giga Drain. Oh, cool. Awesome. Double down to Swampert all day. Perfect. We love that. We love that because now I get to set up this Trick Room, which is just beautiful, which is just awesome. And instead of setting up the bulk up, I think we just start attacking, correct? That make the most sense? Is that, is that our best play? I could go for EQ. I could slam an EQ, but I think I'm just going to Thrasilize and just go for Liquidation turn one. Liquidation and maybe just go for Helping Hand Liquidation? We could, or I could Terra Bulk up. Because who could they swap into to kind of dodge these water moves? Two Pokemon they have. Oh, I kind of went Thrasilize and just bulk up. That's exactly what I'm going to do instead. Thrasilize, bulk up. And then maybe just hard swap. Because if they're going to hard swap, I kind of want to hard swap into Hydrapple. Hydrip Drap. We're doing it. We're doing it. I think they're going to hard swap. I really do. I really do think they, they either Thrasilize and send or parting shot. Something along those lines. And we can just go into Hydrapple. Show me your swapping and send more. This could be a solid play if they are. We lower the base from this, which is pretty solid. And they're going to go into a Terra. Oh, no, they're not. We're Terrasalizing. So they're chilling here with Incineroar. Maybe going for a knockoff into Dust Cops to take off Evo Light. That's very surprising, right? Very weird. Wow, okay, next turn, we're just going to Liquidation. Next turn, we're going after We bulk up. We get the defense boost. We get the attack boost. Really did think they were going to swap to Incineroar. And on top of this, they go for the Giga Drain, which we soak really well. Beautiful. Beautiful. Knockoff is going to come out here. A little tough because Hydrapple was... Hydrapple was Life Orb. But I think from here, now we popped Liquidation. And did we just heal the Swampert? I think from here, we just heal the Swampert. Yeah, I'd rather have the Swampert full HP, to be honest. And now they swap this thing. What's going on? Now they swap the thing. In a Suicune? It's probably Suicune, right? Or Feraligator. Feraligator, yeah. Dude, this is what I want to happen last turn. But Palm Puff comes out here. We're going to heal up our Swampert back up to full HP. Um, I do have my Grass type right here to kind of deal with that. And Liquidation is still going to fly and still do a nice chunk of damage, which we like. And we get the Defense Drop. Beautiful. The Defense Drop comes out here. Lead Seeds pop, and we hate that. <laughs> we hate a good old Lead Seed. We don't like that one bit. Um... And Feralgator sitting here, probably with Ice Punch, which is the one thing that kind of scares me. Definitely one thing that kind of scares me. Um, I could go for another Bulk Up. I could go for EQ. Um, I honestly think we just EQ and we Pollen Puff into this slot. Or we go for a Fickle Bean. I think we just Pollen Puff in this slot, because EQ might be able to KO that, that thing right there. That Executor. They're going to hard swap back into, is that Incineroar? Yeah, they hard swap back into Incineroar, which I don't mind. I'm EQing. I'm EQing. I still have my clear amulet. I'm special attacking. 
I don't mind that too much. I don't mind that at all. Pom Pop's gonna fly. It's gonna deal some damage onto you and just dump on you. We love that. We love that. We just dump on Executive. And now Swampert should be chilling here, picking up the KO on things soon, right? Plus one stab. Deal some damage onto our Fickle Beam guy and not KO in Silver. So we leave that on one. We leave him on one HP. But still, High Trap will soak that, no problem. That's big time. So we leave him on one. They bring out their next Pokemon. And it's going to be the Gator. The so Gator's out and about. And honestly, it's either you. Your Incineroar dies or your Frow Gator dies. So I don't care if he fakes him out. We're just going to attack both, right? Make the most sense. Makes the most sense. They end up faking out the High Trapple, which is totally fine. Incineroar is now going to die out here. And a clear amulet's honestly a beautiful item for this Pokemon. Especially in this format. Regulation F with all Intimidate Pokemon, especially Incineroar's on the field. It's working perfectly here in this match. He ends up going for an Ice Punch. And I figured he had that, but that's totally fine. That's totally fine because we got rid of the eggs. We got rid of the Incineroar. We chunked up some damage on the Feralgator. Now I'm ready to go. And oh, you still have my Leech Seeds. How dare you? How dare you seed me up? Um, I do have Rhyperior in the back end, which is pretty good. I still have Dust Cops, and I think I'm just going to go into Rhyperior here. Especially with a turn or two left in Trick Room. Might as well just drop Rock Slides freely. They go into our final Pokemon. It is going to be Executor. Or not Executor. Um, Electabuzz. Now I get to bring out the Rhyperior. As much as I would like to go for a ground move, I could. I could pop Weakness Policy. Hold up. Don't want to pop Weakness Policy? I just want to check the speeds. 50 and 65. So you're actually going to go first. You're actually going to go first. And I think from here, we just go EQ. And Rock Slide. Do we EQ Rock Slide here? How many turns left in Trick Room? Are we out of Trick Room turns? Wow, they end it without me even noticing. You know what? Screw it. We're just going to go Liquidation here, and we're just going to Rock Slide across the board. I'm cool with that. So now we're going to see a Terror type probably come out from Electabuzz, right? No, the Gator's going to get it. So the Gator's going to thrash us here. Go into straight dark, which I don't mind. I don't mind that too much, but our Trick Room is gone. We have a nice, lovely bulk up on our Swampert, which is beautiful. And a Foul Me is going to come out here from the Electro Bus, which is actually pretty cool. Pretty cool. I mean, we were attacking that thing anyway. Crunch is going to fly. Both my Pokemon should be able to soak this. And you're going to go after my plus one Swampert, and he soaks it no problem. Liquidation comes in hot. Does some massive damage. Rock Slide, can he land? Oh, no way you static me. Come on now. Rock Slide, can you land? Can you do me a favor? Thank you. Rock Slide's going to connect. That's a nice chunk of damage. And from here, now it's a 3v1. And we have Dust Clops with Brick Break in the back end, giving us a super effective shot. So I'm cool with that. But honestly, I didn't even know Trick Room ended. I thought we had one more turn. And if that was the case, if I knew Trick Room ended, I would have went into Dust Clops here and just simply protected that, uh, that Swamp right there. It would have worked perfectly. It would have worked perfectly. But from here, Liquidation going to be our best bet. And I think we just rip a high horsepower. We're probably an EQ at this point. Yeah, we'll just rip an EQ. He goes for Liquidation, and we might die to that. We do. So as long as we're not paralyzed here, we win this match. Liquidation KO. Go ahead, Swampert. No, I'm dirty. My man. Swampert coming in hot here. Liquidation finishing off the Feraligator, and we killed it here in match number two with Swampert. Final match is here, and we're going up against the brand new Indigo Disc Box Art Legendary. We got, I don't even know his name, Turtle Guy. I'm going to call him Turtle Guy. We're going up against the Turtle with Golurk, Rillaboom. They also have Alolan Ninetales, and then Furgraph and Incineroar. Definitely want to use Swampert here again. I think we did really good in, in the last match with them, rocking out with the Clear Amulet, popping the Trick Room, and we might just want to try to do the same thing. I understand they have Rillaboom, but we do have a great Terror type. So going into Dust Clops and Swampert could be a good play. Or we can go into Indeedee instead. Who would be better? Probably Dust Cops, right? Just for setting up Trick Room? Yeah, like that. Or we can just go Indeedee. The problem here is if, if they lead Frigoraph. Is that a possibility? Yes. Is that a problem? Yes. Am I worried? Yes. This could be an issue. This could be an issue. But we're 2-0. Oh. We are 2-0. Oh. We got Swampert used really well so far. And Frigoraph is just terrifying me. I'm going to go Dust Cops. We're going to try the same thing. We're going to try the same thing. Actually, instead of you, just in case something goes wrong, we're going to rely on our Indeedee and Zapdos in the back end. Yeah, that that makes a, that, that makes me a bit more happy with this team, considering if they just go for Rigoraph, 
and maybe like Incineroar and knock off in prison and just take out my Dust Cops. Then from there, I don't really have another way of setting up Trick Room. But with this back end squad, I can always go in to follow me. I can always pop Trick Room and just have this Aptos there for a little bit of back end support. But we're just gonna have fingers crossed here. No Frig Wrath? Of course, it's Frig Wrath. So Frig and th this is what I was talking about. This is exactly why I brought in the other squad. I just said the knock offs, the imprison, all that crazy stuff could really do me dirty. So they're gonna imprison me. We already know this. There's no point of popping tricking. There's no point of popping tricking. We see that thing has throat spray. Um, I could go bulk up. I could go steel terror. Uh, mm. definitely gonna go liquidation. It could fake me out. Probably is gonna fake me out. I'm just gonna try to bulk up instead. I'm just gonna go bulk up and. He's just gonna imprison. So you know what? I'm just gonna start throwing chunky burns around. I'm just gonna start chunking up burns. Yeah, he faked me out. Whatever. It'd be like that. Hyper voice. Wow, we could have popped Trickroom. We could have popped Trickroom freely. We could have just popped Trickroom. Kind of upset we didn't just pop Trickroom. Why didn't we pop Trickroom? Why didn't we just pop Trickroom? You really didn't imprison? You led for a graph not to imprison? I, yo, I'm a, I'm a lose it if they imprison this turn. I'm a lose it if they imprison this turn. I'm gonna be so upset. Cause it just makes no sense. It just makes no sense. So I'm gonna just protect this turn. I'm gonna pop the trick room now. And if they imprison or trick room, I'm gonna be so upset. Okay, they protect the room. So the Farigi gets to protect. I'm also gonna protect the Swampski. And Dust Cops will be able to eat up whatever shot Incineroar has to all. Nah, that's fine. I should have attacked this turn. Hmm. Okay, it's fine. So my evil light's gone, but still, Trick Room is here. We have Trick Room out and about. Um, not gonna lie, Farigi's looking scary to pop another Trick Room to counter my Trick Room, but I do have Indeedy to kind of get after it that way. So I mean, EQ's pretty free here. And I think I popped the EQ, so I'm gonna go EQ, and I'm just gonna go Helping Hand EQ. Just do as much damage as I can. If I take out my Dust Cops, I take out my Dust Cops. At that point, I could just bring in a better Pokemon. But they end up withdrawing El Tigre. The Tiger is gone. Kind of upsetting. And they're going to go into who? My soul hurting. It's hurting. Nice Robum swap from them. That's big time. Terrain does uh, negate some of the damage from EQ too. So we'll see how this one plays out here. They end up going into a Gleamski. EQ is going to fly. And it's really not going to do anything crazy. And my Dust Cops survives. I wanted him dead. I wanted Dust Cops dead. So now we are just going to Terrasilize my... We're going to Terrasilize my Swampert. And we're going to hard swap our Dust Cops into Indeedy here. Just to take off terrain. Oh my lord, this is annoying. This is annoying, but great plays from our opponents. We should have just Trick Room turn 1 and we should have Liquidation turn 2 with... Uh, with Swampert. To be honest, playing just like normal on the casual ladder is probably better than trying to make reads because most of the time the players aren't going to do it because they're not like in high ranks. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully that makes sense. But sometimes like I'll, I'll try to make a read and it just won't even be close. It's just like, dude, why aren't you doing that? It just makes no sense. But casual ladder, you get that sometimes. But I end up to Rastlass and I go into a liquidation, dealing some nice damage onto Farigi. Grassy guy's gonna fly. We rise it into Indeedy. Doesn't really make sense, but okay. And out comes the Trick Room. So Trick Room is here. They cancel it out. Um, now it's not a bad turn to actually just Trick Room with Indeedy and protect. Yeah, we're gonna try that. We need it. We need it. Protect coming out from the swamps. Hopefully, you guys are going after my Swamper. And Frigraph protects. That's huge. That's huge. Because I don't think Rillaboom can KO. I really don't think Rillaboom can KO. He goes, oh, you, you go for Woodhammer. Of course you do. And you KO. Okay, never mind. I lied. I lied. That hurts so bad. Why are you going for Woodhammer? Why are you going for Woodhammer? I thought he would go for maybe like Grass Guide again. But that works perfectly. Because now I can't get off Trick Room. I mean, maybe I can. But it's not looking good. It's not looking good. I do have the bird with the Psychic Terrain. And that's going to be a good call for us. So we're gonna go into the bird. And I might just attack the bird, to be honest. 
And the reason I say I might just attack the bird is because I want to go into... I want to take out the, the furry giraffe, right? Yeah, I, I want to take out furry giraffe. And I think that a psychic might be coming into that zapping slot. It's a little scary. There's the higher horse. That, that's what I thought you were doing last turn. But our opponent's just playing really good. And of course you get a crit. Everything's just doing me dirty right now. And yeah, this, this third match, is no, it's no good. It's no good. It's just, we're not playing good here. We're not playing good here. But at least the first two matches, we were killing it. Dazzling Gleam does come out here. Um, Burn might be able to KO for Graph. I don't really hope, but yeah, this is just not looking good whatsoever. For Graph's on one HP. Did we even pick up a KO yet? I don't even think we picked up a KO yet. I don't even think we did that yet. So we can't get swept here. Um, I don't think we're going to get swept. I think we're totally fine not to get swept. But, um... Might as well just go for a brick break here and just double down into that thing, right? Yeah, we're just gonna double down into you. Woodhammer's gonna fly. We should be able to eat up a Dazzling Gleam, and we probably pick up a double KO. I'm not gonna lie, there might be a little shot here, because he's gonna Defiant boost me. He's gonna Defiant boost me after his turn. Acrobatics cooks. We say bye-bye to Rillaboom. And can the Zip Zap clutch up? But our opponent was just playing so weird. They really were. Dazzling Gleam's gonna fly. Zap those half HP that you're gonna die to burn. And he's gonna force to bring you back out in Sinmore, which is gonna pop my Defiant. On top of that, we can protect, dodge the fake out. Actually, you actually you can fake me out. Maybe they don't know if they can fake me out in the terrain or not. Because I am flying type, I'm not affected by the terrain. Did we just attack this Terrapagus? How do we pronounce it? Terrapagus? Yeah, I'm so screwed here. Unless, unless I just rip in this thing. I mean, let's try, let's try to go into Thunder's Kick here. Let's try. He calm Mind's boost, so he's not going for the fake out. Yo, if I can hit this thing, we might have a shot. Incineroar, what are you going for? We might outspeed you. Did we miss our Thunder's Kick? No, you got Terror Shell. I think Terror Shell. Just like neutralizes so much damage, but Thunder's Kick still comes through here. And look at that. Like, come on now. Come on now. What is that? What is that? Flare Blitz flies through here. And would we be able to soak this up? If that thing didn't have that OP ability, we win this match. Because I should KO that thing with a super effective shot. And then I just KO this thing right here. This match was just a mess. It was a mess, but hopefully you guys still did enjoy. We won our first match. We won our second match. We showcased Swamp it really well. Just had a terrible third and final match. Not a bad set of matches for today's video. You Swampert really, really well. First match, Zapdos absolutely carried. We got Swampert out there in the back end. And then the second match, Swampert carried. We set up the bulk up. We were hitting hard with liquidations, EQ, and pretty much just going from there. And then the third and final match, we're just not going to talk about it. All right? We're just not going to talk about it. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.